everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for another behind the scenes video. My next soap is going to have a pear theme to it, so today we're going to make some little pears using some soap dough. Let's go! Okay, so let's get started. I have my little scale and I also have the soap dough here that I want to use. I have already made some of my little pears. I need to make another five though. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my white soap dough here and I'm going to break it up into some um, pieces which are about 7.5 grams. I'll then roll them up into a ball and start to shape them into the pear shape. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is roll this up into a ball. So let's get that going. And once I'm happy that it's in a bit of a ball shape there, I'm gonna start bringing it up into a tier by just rolling the very tip of it around gently in my finger just to make that sort of tier shape. And then I pop it down on my bench and I just kind of play with it until I am happy with the shape. And I'm pretty happy with that one there. And I'm just gonna leave that to one side to harden up while I do these others. Next thing we're going to do is the outside of these pears. So I'm going to put a green skin on them. To get my green, I've actually mixed up um, two different shades of green soap dough and a bit of white, and I've just mushed it all together so we get a really nice mottled effect. Because quite often when you look at pears, they've got lots of different colours actually running through their skin. They're not just one single colour. So we've got that all mushed together. What I'm going to do is I have got some of my biofilm here. I'm just going to put that down. I'm going to put that into the one side and cover it up with the other side of my film. And then I have a little rolling pin and I'm going to roll this out really flat so that it's probably about one mil in thickness, maybe one to two, we'll see how we go. got this rolled out as uh, thin as I can. I did have to actually stop and put some more of the film on here because I rolled it a little bit too hard and pierced a hole in the film. So I had to put another layer on. I'm just peeling that top layer off and then the bottom layer should actually then just peel straight off of this one here. I'm not worried if it rips or tears. But that is looking nice like that. We'll actually keep it on top of there so it doesn't stick to my bench. And what I'm going to do is grab my knife over here. Everything feels a bit awkward today. I'm having to wear my gloves to do this. And if you've watched any of my um, previous soap dough recipes, I don't generally wear gloves when I'm doing my soap dough because I find it sticks all over the place if I do. But I'll tell you a bit more about it in a minute. What I'm going to do is just cut myself a piece of this off. And then I am going to grab one of my little white ones. I'm going to place my little pear piece in here and I am just going to wrap that around. But before I do that, what I need to first of all do is I've got some distilled water in my little glass here and I'm just going to paint the soap to get it wet. And this just helps those two layers actually stick together. So now we've done that, I'm going to wrap it around and we'll just keep maneuvering our soap until it's all stuck. We're up at the top here I'm just pinching it together and you will be able to kind of manipulate that soap around and any of this extra stuff you can just then tear off and then you just use your fingers just to smooth it all out, get rid of all the lumps and bumps and all the little creases and same down the bottom here I'm just folding it in and over the edge and all this excess and just pulling it straight off. If you end up with any sort of gaps like that, it's really easy just to push the soap dough around and cover it up. And then you can continue to push the soap dough around, cover up any of those sort of cracks, make it all nice and even. Now I can't take full credit for how these are done. I did see um, Tierra over on Gypsy Fay Creations do her pairs like this 
and it was just such a great way that she was doing them that I thought I would do them this way as well. So go and check out her channel. She did a really good crimson pear one and she's also just recently released a avocado video where she uses a similar technique to do little avocados with them. So really good little um, technique to be using to create some nice fruits. Anyway, back to wearing gloves while I'm doing this. I've been having um, big cleanups in the workshop while I can, and I was going through the whole lot with um, a bleach solution of water. And I was going around, and around the back of all of my um, benches, I have some Perspex, which I used as a, a backsplash. So if I got soap and things on the wall, it was nice and easy to actually wash it off. So I was going around with my cloth the other day and I was wiping the very tops of them. There's like a little, I don't know, it must be about two or three mil ledge across the top of all of these little back splashes. And I was wiping it off and my finger slipped from out of the, um, the cloth and ran along the edge of the perspex. It didn't bleed or anything, but oh my goodness, it was sore. And um, I've got my gloves on to make sure that I've got that cut all nicely covered up so that we're staying nice and hygienic. And so I don't get soap in it either. So um, I'm just finding it a little bit difficult working with soap dough in my gloves. It just doesn't quite work as well um, as it does when you've just got your fingers because you have that extra layer to actually feel through um, when you're doing this. Plus the other thing, these gloves used to fit me really, really well, which is, this is probably actually a very good problem to have. Um, today was the final day of our eight week challenge. If you've been following along with me on Instagram, I went in and I did my weigh in and over my eight weeks, I have actually managed to lose eight kilos. So I am extremely happy with that. Filling in the portal, um, that we get access to to actually log our weights and measurements and eight kilos I've been told is in with a very good chance of winning so I'm happy with that and since my birthday that means that I have lost oh what was it oops I had to double check um so that means since my birthday which was early December last year when hubby bought me my Fitbit I have actually managed to lose 12 kilos so I'm really really happy I'm halfway through to my actual um, overall um, sort of weight loss and this challenge has actually really given me all the tools that I needed to be able to get myself to lose the rest of that weight so I'm really really pleased but yeah that's another reason these gloves are feeling really awkward because they're now too big it's amazing when you actually do lose weight um, quite often you need to replace your shoes and yeah gloves and all these things that you never people think that you generally replace your shorts and t-shirt and skirts and stuff like that but there's so many other things that you actually have to replace when you lose weight and yeah it looks like I'm gonna have to come down a, a glove size next time I buy gloves problem is I think I've got about another three boxes of these sitting in the cupboard under the sink so I'm just gonna have to make do with the um the larger gloves for now so I'm going to finish getting these little pairs all covered. I'm going to leave them sit on my side probably for about, I don't know, about 10 minutes just to harden up before we come back and we finish them off. been sitting here for about 10 minutes and they are now ready to actually cut open I just like to leave them sit there so the soap can harden up a little bit and it makes it easier to cut I've also discovered with thanks to Tierra that cutting the your soap dough with your single bar cutter is also the easiest way if you try doing it with a knife they tend to smush up and then she showed one day she cut her soap dough with her um, single bar soap cutter and it just cuts through so cleanly um, without actually smooshing up your soap as well. So I'm going to get all of these cut and then what we're going to do is put some little seeds and a little stalk into each of our pears. Okay, so 
so to finish off our little pears I have just got a small piece of brown soap dough here so what I'm going to do is take one of my little pear halves I have just one of my little fondant tools with a nice sharp tip I'm going to put a little bit of a line up through the middle here just to show where that sort of seed area would be in a pear and then I'm going to use the very tip of it just to put in three little holes on either side or three little indents on either side of that line there and then with a skewer let me just grab that one I'm also going to put just a tiny mark up in the top of our pair here just a little bit of an indent there let's make sure it doesn't come apart I'm going to take some of our brown and we don't need a lot for this I'm just going to roll out a little bit of a sausage sort of shape on my bench here and then I'm going to take my little craft knife and while it's still on the bench I find it easiest this way I'm just going to cut off a tiny 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 little amount you can only just see it on the knife but I'm going to then fill in those little holes on my pear to make it look like there's little seeds in there last of the little seeds in there and that's looking quite cute and then what I'm going to do with the rest of what I've got there is I'm just going to grab a little bit of my distilled water here I'm just going to put a bit into there and then that will act like some glue so we can stick the stalk of our pear in so I'm going to do all these halves of pears and each of my soap bars is going to end up with two halves of the pear I gave up dipping my paintbrush in the water and just decided to dip the skewer straight in so we can put the water into that little marking we're making and that's just made that a little bit quicker to do them that is the last one in so there are our little pears ready to go on the next soap I hope you've enjoyed watching how I made them if you did why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below if you've got any questions I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can and until the weekend's video I hope you stay safe and I'll see you then bye